Hello students, I am your Bhushan sir. Hope all of you are safe at home. Take care of your health in this pandemic uh, time. Today, we shall understand the excretory system of planaria. The objectives is to understand the unique features related to the excretory system of planaria and to study the physiology of excretion process. Content includes the parts of the excretory system, namely excretory tubules, flame cells and protonephridia. The next part is physiology of excretion in planaria. Students, excretory system of an animal involves in the removal of excretory waste from the uh, body of it. In case of Dugesia planaria, the excretory system is very well developed, but it is of primitive type, I mean to say it is very simple. It consists of a system of excretory tubules with a number of excretory units called as uh, flame cells or solenocytes. So, down in the picture, you can see these two important uh, 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 parts. Number one, excretory tubules, tube-like structures seen towards the um, lateral side of planaria. And towards the left side, I'm sorry, the right side of the slide, one unit of flame cell is a scene. So this is, uh, these are two major parts of the excretory system in case of planaria. The first part we shall understand in detail, excretory tubules. Excretory tubules are paired longitudinal tubules which are also referred as excretory trunks. So longitudinal means elongated. Anterior posterior axis uh, uh, is the position of this excretory trunks or also which run all along the lateral sides of the body. On each side you find two number or a pair of excretory tubules or trunks. So we have one pair towards the one side, the other pair towards the other side. Overall, you have two pairs of the excretory uh, trunks. These excretory trunks are further branched out. Some branches are C positioned towards inside. So it will move towards the inner surface. Some moves towards outside, that is towards the dorsal surface. So you will have to understand if this is one trunk, one branch comes uh, positioning towards inside, one positioning towards outside. The one which is positioning towards inside will end up with the structures of flame cells or solenocytes. The one which extends outside, the branch that comes out uh, uh, of the uh, excretory trunk forms the excretory uh, pore outside referred as the dorsal pore or the nephridio pores. So this is about the importance of the excretory trunk. These two trunks of right and left side of the body are connected with each other at the head region. So this that is what you find here in the diagram. You can see both the branches of right and left are connected in the head region. It is done by means of a transverse vessel. So right and left side excretory trunks are connected by means of the transverse vessel. So that's about the excretory tubules. Now, as I have told you earlier, this longitudinal trunk divides into number of branches. Some branches will move towards the inner body parts, some moves towards outer body part. The one which is moves towards inner body part 
will show the end uh, 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 at the end the structures called as flame cells or solenocytes students remember these structures called as flame cells or solenocytes are the actual structures which involves in removal of the excretory waste from the mesenchyme cells so hence the actual part of the excretion or the unit uh, uh, units of excretory system is this flame cells or solenocytes here when we look at we have the structure of a flame cell it is an elongated cell of course has got a nucleus within it has got outer cell membrane cell membrane may be smooth or it is extended to form the protoplasmic extensions this protoplasmic extensions have the ability to draw the excretory waste which are seen in the neighboring or surrounding mesenchyme cells you remember in the digestive system we have understood that after the process of digestion the food from the diverticula gets diffused into the neighboring mesenchyme cells and within mesenchyme cells there occurs the intracellular digestion where oxidation of food takes place so once the food is broken we find the excretory waste in the form of carbon dioxide water ammonia etc so these components are are the excretory waste which need to be removed or expelled out from the body so this is done by means of the flame cell so flame cell will have a close attachment with the mesenchyme cells so now by the uh, 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 activity of capillary activity or capillary uh, uh, action you find the mesenchyme cells throws out its uh, um, uh, excretory waste into the cell of flames uh, uh, cell or solenocyte so it is done by means of the protoplasmic processes now this waste within the uh, cytoplasm or protoplasm of the uh, cell of solenocyte or flame cell when it reaches you find at the center there is a space for the cell you can find here in the diagram down a central cavity that cavity present at the center of the cell is called as intracellular cavity or intracellular space that space is provided with a group of large uh, uh, flagella or cilia so you find an elongated tuft of cilia or c within this uh, uh, cavity of uh, intracellular space of flame cell remember students these groups of uh, cilia or flagella otherwise which starts moving together they all move together in a, a, a coincident a manner and this will look like the flickering of a flame so when you blow air on a candle flame how the candle flame keep moves uh, uh, keep moving so that is the condition of the movement of the ciliary uh, uh, structures so this group of cilia since shows the a uh, similarity with that of the flickering flame of a candle it is also called as i mean uh, the cell is also referred as flame cell so this is the name which is commonly utilized or uh, 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 given for uh, solenocytes now this group of flagella cilia starts vibrating and this vibrating uh, 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 cilia will make the content of the excretory waste from its cytoplasm to move inside that intracellular space why is the cilia are present here or flagella are present here their movement will bring in a particular action the action is called as hydrostatic pressure the hydrostatic pressure relates to the pressure it is created on the water inside the flame cell which is nothing but the excretory product which is drawn from the mesenchyme cells so along with that the ammonia and all dissolving salts or ions uh, along with the water enters into that intracellular space from there the intracellular space is connected down with 
a tubule which we call it as the excretory tubule or excretory trunk. Now from there it removes towards the other end where the nephridio pore or um, what to say um, dorsal pore is seen. So through this minute dorsal pores which are arranged plenty numbered on the a lateral margin of dorsal side of the body, these waves are thrown out. So that's the importance of um, the flame cells and the excretory tubules related to planaria. Students remember the excretory units are flame cells which involves in removal of the excretory waves, but it is with the help of the excretory tubules. So the network of flame cells with the excretory tubule together we call it as protonephridia. So this is the system of excretion which we find in case of uh, planaria. So that's about the structural details of the uh, excretory system in planaria. Now we will understand physiology related to excretory system. The excretory substances what the planaria forms is predominantly carbon dioxide, water and salts. They are removed out from the body tissues that is mesenchyme cells. It uh, moves from the mesenchyme cells into the flame cells, from flame cells into the intracellular uh, space of the flame cell, from there into excretory trunk, from there it moves out uh, through the nephridio pores or dorsal pores. As we have understood, the beating of this uh, uh, flagella uh, within the flame cells will bring about hydrostatic pressure. So all the fluid will start flowing from the, uh, uh, each of the flame cell into the excretory canal. Okay, that is uh, longitudinal excretory trunk. So once if it reaches there, it is thrown out by means of nephridio pores. So the excretory system is also called as protonephridial system because uh, it is uh, 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 flame cells and proto um, excretory canals and nephridio pores. All these three structures together involves in removal of the uh, excretory waste. As we have discussed, the matter of excretion is ammonia, uh, carbon dioxide, and even the salts. But the very predominant or a, a very important function of excretory system in planaria is to maintain the water level within the body. We call it as osmoregulation. So osmoregulation is the actual uh, process that the excretory system balances. Okay, the water level, osmo means water, regulation means maintenance. So maintenance of water level within the body is brought about by the excretory system. When we look at the pathway of uh, um, excretory system, from the surrounding mesenchyme where the position of uh, um, uh, excretory waste are originated, it moves into flame cells. From flame cells it will move into intracellular space, from there into excretory trunks and canals, then it moves out through the nephridio pores. So that is about the importance of physiology of excretion. So after we understanding the physiology of excretion, students now we shall concentrate on few of the multiple choice questions to know uh, the ability of our understanding related to the uh, subject of the session. The excretory organs of flat worms are A flame cells, nephridia, malfeasion tubules and renatal glands. So it should be A flame cells. Question 2. The type of excretory system present in Dugesia tigrina. So obviously protonephridial system, answer is B. The longitudinal excretory trunks are joined by means of, you know, right and left longitudinal excretory canals are joined at the head region by means of transverse vessels. So answer is A. The beating of flagella in flame cell causes which pressure? Hydrostatic pressure. Answer is C. The excretory pathway in planaria. We know the first part should be mesenchyme. So we have in A mesenchyme, C mesenchyme, D mesenchyme. 
The next part is flame cell. So A and D we need to concentrate now. From flame cells it will move into intracellular space. So answer should be A because after that is excreted you can all and nephridiopore. The chief, uh, the chief function of uh, excretory system in planaria is osmoregulation, maintenance of water level. So answer is B. What have we learned from the uh, session today? We have learned about the unique features related to excretory system and physiology of excretion in planaria. Students, the references relates to the website same, Wikipedia and Britannica.com. Textbooks are again same, Invertebrate Zoology by Verma and Modern Textbook of Zoology by Hootpal. So with this, we are completing the concept related to excretion. Uh, your queries can be posted to my WhatsApp number. Stay safe at home students. Take care of your health. Thank you all.